Chapter 8 Everything Changes Well, viewers, said the reporter, it's time for you to vote. Do you want Yeti to go home? Then call 020 8531 001. Do you want Yeti to stay here? Then call 020 8531 002. You have five minutes to make your choice, so pick up the phone. The TV showed Yeti again. He was looking sadly at the snow on the pictures of the Himalayas on the walls of his room. After five minutes, the reporter said, A lot of people have telephoned us. Here are the results of the vote. The number of people who voted for Yeti to go home? 2,536,620. The number who voted for Yeti to stay? 423,000. That means our viewers want Yeti to go home. Tim and Emma cheered. The manager of the zoo sighed. A big car came to the zoo to pick up Yeti. The manager of the zoo shook his paw. Here is your air ticket home, he said. There are tickets for Tim and Emma and their mum, too. That's very kind of you, said Mum. Thank you. A big crowd of fans cheered and waved as Yeti's car left the zoo. At the airport, another big crowd was waiting to see him. Yeti had a special seat on the plane. When the plane took off and was high above the clouds, Yeti looked out of the window. He thought the clouds were fields of snow. He wanted to get off at once. At last, the plane landed. When they drove up towards the mountains and reached the snow, Yeti went wild. He rolled and rolled in it until he looked like a giant snowball.